The University of Texas named the richest public college in the country. Sure, they've got successful sports teams and a Longhorn logo known around the world, but they're also dealing with some budget cuts and layoffs. So what gives? Chris Sadegi did some digging today on the University of Texas campus. Chris? Leslie, you hear the number 17 billion and you think that all the financial problems should be solved. But there is a catch because this is one of 15 campuses with the name University of Texas. And when you're educating 161,000 students, even 17 billion can get tight. If you're walking down the West Mall, you can help science majors pay for their research and take home a plant that they grew. We raise money by selling plants every week. Sarah McNally Durkin has to do this despite a recent Main Street article that says she attends the third richest university in the country, behind only Ivy League big boys, Harvard and Yale. But tuition is going up. That begs an obvious question. Why am I paying so much? <laughs> well, the truth is, Main Street's math is a little off. We are blessed, uh, but uh, certainly not to the extent that one might think from the article. UT Vice President and CFO Kevin Hegarty says UT has money, but they aren't swimming in it, and here's why. Main Street's 17 billion number is for the entire UT system. That's 15 campuses. UT Austin's is only about a third of that. Now compare those numbers to Yale and Harvard, who average about a million and a half dollars per student. UT's bottom line doesn't even come close. I would dare say that using the correct numbers wouldn't even put us in the top 20. Believe it or not, cash is scarce. After recent sessions cut funding, the eyes of Texas were on slashing the budget and eliminating positions. Our budget is quite strained. We're struggling this year and we will struggle next year and probably for many years to balance that budget. So, so 17 billion isn't as much as you think. And as good as these science kids at UT may be, they can't make money grow on trees or plants. And yes, I'd love to pay less for tuition, but I'll just need to work more. And, and Texas A&M also ranks in on that list. They're at number 10, but they're also in a similar position. They have 12 schools in the Texas A&M system. We're live on the UT campus. Chris Sadegi, KXAN News.